I set my movie, The Abomination of Desolation, in Times Square. I did this because a lot of movies use that setting, and I thought I could get a variety of clips with various actors in them. But some people say that there are no coincidences, so that got me thinking about synchronicity. The word synchronicity is in part derived from the Greek word for time. Time is one of the traps or limits of this dimension. The square also symbolizes the limits of this reality, like the Kaaba stone or a bird trap. We are confined within the limits of this carnal existence. The only way to escape this world is either through the fate of death or time travel. So Times Square might possibly be a hidden symbol representing the limits or walls of this world. But then again, maybe it is a clue to the way out. Keep in mind this is purely speculative. We are just enjoying, entertaining an interesting idea for our own entertainment. I have theorized in the past that time travel might involve certain frequencies. If the plane of our existence is physical, then to crack it open might involve the right frequencies. Think of a physical wine glass. The right frequency will shatter it. So it's the same concept. To escape time or time travel, one would need to break out of this dimension. Anyway, perhaps the double meaning behind Times Square would be time to the second power. So what if there was a time travel formula where time could be quantified as the value of X? Let's say someone wanted to change their fate or change square. Could that explain deja vu? Anyway, just something fun to think about. Like, share, and subscribe, bitches.